Today is the <coughs> third day of the moon. Third day of the moon is Tritya, is the special day for the virgins. Kundalini is the virgin desire. It is virgin because it has not yet manifested itself. And also on the third center of Nabi, The virgins appear as Shaktis of Guru. As we have got ten Gurus, which we regard as the main Gurus, they all had either their sister or daughter as their Shakti. In the Bible it is said that in the Old Testament that the one who will be coming will be born of a virgin. And then the Jews would not accept Christ, so they said that it's not written the virgin, it's written the girl. Now in Sanskrit language, girl and the virgin are one word. We did not have eight-year-old girls as we have nowadays. So the virginity of a woman meant that she was a girl who was not married as yet. or who has not met her husband so far. That is the essence of purity. Which was the power of the Guru principle. So for a Guru, who is in charge of leading others into enlightenment has to know that his power is to be used as a virgin power, a pure power. A guru cannot use his power in a way an ordinary person can use it. So his relationship with his disciples, whether they are boys or girls, has to be absolutely pure. The purity should be of such a limit that a guru should not accept anything 
from the disciples. About this, lots of things have been written by many saints, especially in Maharashtra. Also, Kabir Dasa and Nanaka have clearly talked against the people who have relationship with their shishas or disciples, either with greed or with lust. They have called them as Rakshasas. In the same way, the people who are today supposed to be the leaders, the gurus in Sahaja Yoga have to remember that their relationship with their disciples has to be of complete purity and virginity. In the olden days it was all right that people did not know about the punishments that can fall upon such a person who uses his power as a guru for his own gratification. But today, at this time, when At this time, vibrations तेच्यापुढे त्रास होतो त्यांना मला त्रास होत नाही पण त्यांना त्रास होतो द पनिशमेंट दॅट कॅन टेक प्लेस इन दोज डेज ऑफ लास्ट जजमेंट कुड बी व्हेरी सिव्हियर अँड ॲज अ मदर आय हॅव टू वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू those who have started their centers or those who are becoming gurus as leaders that you have to have a very detached mind and clear cut understanding within yourself you cannot mishandle money you cannot misappropriate money you cannot use anything for your own purpose which belongs to the collective nor could you use anyone for the gratification of your lust if you have any such weaknesses is better to get out of sahaja yoga for the time being and come back when you are better off there is no place in sahaja yoga for impure people purity is to be worshiped out and out as we say that in the west the sin against the mother people don't value their chastity but in the east especially in india people don't know that they have to be absolutely honest as far as their money is concerned they fall into traps into temptations and then they get a very severe punishment not through me but through the wrath of god almighty because this is god's work we are doing and 
the worst thing could be that we seek power. If not these two things, we seek power in Sahaja Yoga. To them it becomes like their own domain and they start using, asserting their power over others. This cannot be possible. It will not work out. Those who will try to dominate others just for the satisfaction of their own ego will suffer a lot. Now the fourth type are the people who try to put their conditionings on Sahaja Yoga. Like somebody who is a Hindu and he is fasting, say, most of the days they fast, I don't know which one is fasting. So he's fasting, say, on a Saturday. And he tells people that, see, now I have to fast on Saturday uh, because after all, you see, I've been fasting for all these days and all that. Or who has got conditioning like, I would like to marry only a foreigner, if I'm a foreigner, or I am an Indian, I'll marry an Indian. All such conditions, if a leader tries to put forward and saying that mother said so, he'll be doubly punished. We are belonging to the true religion of a true, pure universality. None of these artificial things can bind us. This is one of the very important subtle things which we don't understand, that we are very much conditioned. We the English, we the Indians, or we X, Y, Z. You are human beings, God made only one world, He didn't make all these things. It's all artificial, man-made. You are born of one mother and you are yogis who have no bondages of this artificial nature. Everyone who claims to be a guru has to realize that he cannot bound himself to any particular mundane, outdated, nonsensical ideas. Gradually, whatever the leaders will do will be followed by the followers. So the leader has to lead a life which is an idea. A leader who is very dominating or who is very possessive or aggressive will create leaders who will be of the same nature. The another one who is very much conditioned will create conditioned followers. And maybe I may not find any relationship with them. So we don't want to have a priest class as gurus. Priests are different from gurus. We do not want people 
take upon themselves the laws of God and use them for their own purposes. Today is the day of the Gurus because it's the third day, the third chakra of the Navi. The same one we have the starting point of the Mahalakshmi. Mahalakshmi energy starts working after you are finished with the Lakshmi Tattva. If the gurus are still with, busy with the Lakshmi Tattvas, have no sense of sacrifice, have no sense of detachment, they cannot be called as leaders. The Mahalakshmi is the subtle form of our hankering, of our desires, is the subtlest, the epitome, because first we search for power through physical, mental, emotional, and ultimately we want to have spiritual powers also to impress others. In Sahaja Yoga, you come here to dissolve all your powers. You become so powerless that all the powers of God Almighty start working through you. Supposing this instrument has some powers, I won't be able to handle this. It would be going here, there and there. So to worship Mahalakshmi, one has to remember that you must dissolve all your powers. That is the surrender, that is what is Islam, as they call it. But these are all words for people. Surrender is a very difficult thing to understand for human beings. They think, I can't surrender. What do you have to surrender is nothing but your ego and your conditioning. All these things I am telling you, but if you learn them by heart like a parrot, you can repeat. That will have no influence on your followers. Unless and until you show in your own life that beauty, that composer, that care, that concern, that love, nobody is going to listen to a parrot. The meaning has to come from the practices, not from the precepts. This is what Sahaja Yoga, which is very different from any other spiritual announcements. So be careful. You have been chosen by your merit as Sahaja Yogis, so respect yourself. May God bless you.